Story time. There was a professor of pottery who had this grading system. You had two choices. You could make a single pot and submit that pot for grading, and the grade on that single pot would determine your grade for the entire class. Or you could make 50 pots, submit the group of pots, and the act of creating that many pots would automatically get you an A, regardless of the quality of those pots. And then one more thing, he would take a look at all the pots created by all of the students in the class, select the, what he considered to be the best pot from the bunch, and then that person, the person who created that pot, would get an A+. And year after year, time after time, what continuously happened was that the best pot in the class was created by someone who created 50 pots. And why is this? And how is this applicable? Taking something through the entire process of creation allows us to learn more than focusing on one little piece of the creation process. It lets us avoid things that might otherwise bog us down. Maybe we find that that tiny bit of detail that we were carving into the pottery gets washed out once we apply the glaze, and that's just wasted effort. Maybe we find that, oh, we've enclosed the space, and when we put it in the kiln, the fact that it's an enclosed space, the entire pot explodes. Maybe we find that the pot that we thought was really interesting as we were working on the molding, once it's finished, once it's fired, it doesn't really look that good. It doesn't sit in the space very well. It's only by taking things through all of the processes from beginning to completion that we can actually learn some of these skills. The other side effect of this mentality is it takes the pressure off. If I'm making 50 pots, and I mess up one pot, then I only have to make 2% more than I was planning to. I make 51 pots and I'm still good. If I only have one pot to play with and that pot is gonna determine my entire grade, then I can get caught and trapped and tightened up because everything's on the line. The quality of this one pot is what is gonna determine everything. So if it's crappy, I'm in trouble. If it breaks, I've got nothing. Whereas if I go the other way and I'm making 50 pots, I can experiment. I can try new things. I can do things that will actually stretch my skills and improve my abilities overall because each individual pot doesn't actually matter that much because the goal is to get to 50 and each pot only has to get to done to be added to the accumulation of pots. To apply this to game development, maybe you find that that system that you spent so much time building intricate design for simply cannot have a UI created for it that allows the player to engage with it correctly. So the system is too complicated. Or that level that you made is consumed very quickly because of the plot that's going to be put into it. Or the time you've spent animating the individual finger bones of the hands of this character. The character is only this big on screen, so you can't even see the finger bones. It's only by bringing things together, by taking them to completion, that we can discover some of these things. In a collaborative endeavor like game development, it's even more important because we're not even aware of some of the other actions that other people on the team are taking. Pottery is a relatively solitary endeavor. So what I'm doing, I can predict what's going to happen in the future, maybe inaccurately, but at least that prediction can exist. When I'm creating an asset for a game, it can be very difficult or even impossible for me to figure out how this is going to fit in the overall game. So the advice that I give is make more pots, bring more things to completion. Indeed, do this. If you've made a thing, let that thing stand at the very least until you make a second thing that is better than that first thing. And indeed, even if you've made a second, probably don't go back and revisit that first thing yet. Make a third thing, and a fourth thing, and a fifth thing. And only when you have a bulk of content that exists, then you can consider going back and revisiting or removing that very first thing. Something has to be the worst thing. Why not just let that first thing be the worst thing? And eventually you might decide that yes, 
we've built enough content that that first thing is no longer acceptable and it needs to be deleted or replaced or removed. And that's fine. But at least by taking this approach of completing things, now you have 50 pots instead of the zero pots that you run the risk of having if you just keep iterating and spiraling on a tiny bit of the process and not making any forward progress. If you need 30 of something, make 50, then cut 10. And now you've got 40 things instead of the 30 that you needed. And you were able to get rid of the 20% worst of the content that you created. Now this philosophy works really well in cases when you need content and a lot of content because you probably need 50 of something or 20 of something or 500 of something. So the act of completion is going to speed you up and improve your quality. But what about in cases when there's only one of something? There's only one core combat system. In that case, I still would recommend bringing things to completion as rapidly as you can, because that gives you a platform again to iterate on. Because even in those cases, a combat system isn't a monolith. It isn't a single atom. By bringing the whole thing to completion, you're going to be able to pluck off little bits where you could make 50 of something. And then that act of completing all of those pots is going to improve the overall quality. And what you might find is that the very core of which there's only one, maybe it does need to be replaced or removed, but that discovery probably could only be made by bringing it to completion. Special thanks to my members. They provide the resources that this channel needs to keep running. If you're interested in becoming a member, there's a link to that down in the description. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up because that will show YouTube that it's worth sharing to other people. We have merch now. This is the very applicable shipped is the best feature. If you're interested in picking up some merchandise, there is a shelf below this video as well. What are some things you found that you struggled to bring to completion? How did you get over that? Or did you get over that? Do you struggle to let things be, to set things down and to move on to the next thing? Any strategies you have for doing that, post those down in the comments because I think it could help everyone out. I will see you again soon. Thank you.